Uh, thank you so much. How worried are you right now about the slowdown in the jobs market? So I am the chair of the CEA. Any question that starts, how worried are you right now? The answer is probably yes, you know, worried, because uh, I'm charged to watch every banana peel that could be slipped on. Um, the job market remains solid. And I think that's the important observation. Um, yes, we saw a cooler than expected report in July. We were very upfront about that. But the other thing we did, and again, CEA has been absolutely firm on this. We never over torque on one month report because we know that one month data is noisy. It's what we call high frequency data. It comes in a lot, so it has a, a, a wide sort of margin of error around. So what we do is we average over a few months. And over the past three months, Payroll employment is up 170,000 per month, okay? So that's really the underlying trend, and that's a solid number. That's a good number. That's a number that's strong enough to support consumer spending, ongoing growth, and a steady, and, and, uh, a, a steady transition to, uh, to continued uh, uh, growth in the overall economy. At the same time, and I said this a minute ago, uh, this job market is generating wage gains that are beating prices, not just in July, but for the past 17 months for the 80% of the workforce that's blue collar in manufacturing or non-managers and services. That's a, a really important number. It helps keep the economy moving forward. So yes, we're aware of the cooling. Certainly some of that was expected, uh, but uh, one month does not a new trend make. And I think, you know, what, one thing you will see very, uh, I can assure you, that you will see very you know, extensive analysis of the next jobs report to see where that fits in this picture. Good job. Just kind of following up, up on that, Jared, last week there was some, a little bit of market turmoil, but markets come back up again since then. But connected to that, there was discussion of a recession and other economic sort of doomsday scenarios coming. What's your take on that? Um, Specifically on the recession question? Yes, sir. Well, I think the most helpful thing we can do at CEA and here the White House economics team is to look at where we are and the conditions that define um, the current economy. So we most recently saw a GDP growth rate that was 2.8 percent. Of course, that's very strongly non-recessionary. If you believe the trend GDP growth is something in the 2 percent neighborhood, that's actually the forecast of what GDP growth will be in the current quarter, in Q3. If you look at the shops that try to back that out, they're right around 2 percent. Some are higher, some are a little lower. That's about trend GDP growth. Uh, we have uh, ongoing wage growth supporting ongoing consumer spending. We'll look at retail sales tomorrow to see where that is. Uh, but all of these numbers are clearly non-recessionary. So the idea that we're in a recession now, I think, is very, um, I think, thoroughly uh, uh, dis uh, disproved by uh, any set of indicators you want to look at. But of course, you know, that asks us to look forward, look around a corner. And, you know, that's particularly hard to do right now. And from this, this podium, you know, I'm not going to make probability suggestions about, about that. There are lots of market shops you can turn to for that. What I will say is that so far in this economy, the fact that the strong job market, which has maintained uh, uh, job gains, 170,000 jobs on average over the past three months, and real wage gains in, a, in an economy that 70 percent consumer spending has been uh, doing a great job of keeping the economy moving forward. As long as we're seeing easing inflation, steady uh, wage growth that's beating prices. By the way, lower gas prices seem to me important in that regard. They're down something like 30, 35 cents relative to a year ago. That also helps on the consumer side. I think all of those uh, help in terms of forward motion. And so I, I would say that you know, current conditions, non-recessionary, looking around the corner, you know, we'll, we'll watch very closely where we're going. But these indicators uh, have been consistently positive. Follow up. I don't think people were saying we're in recessionary <coughs> conditions right now. I think they were talking about <coughs> that around the corner of peace, saying that it's coming. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that uh, the uh, the point I was just trying to make is that if you look at the factors that have gotten us to where we are right now, those factors continue to propel the economy forward.